In this third part, which should be fairly quick, we're going to model the, um, the little lights that we're going to scatter over the wreath. Uh, and then in the final scene, we're going to bring it all together and start shading everything. So I start off with a cylinder. Now, because I'm using a different scene, um, we'll have a look at it when we bring it into the final scene to see what the scale is like. We can still change it there. So for now, we don't have to focus on it too much. Um, we can worry more about the shape and the way it's going to look. So again, bring down the size to maybe 16. Because we're going to scatter these, we don't want the polygon to be too high. And they're not going to be that big anyway, so we won't see it if it's not super detailed. Um, Reset the height segments as well, set them to 1. Just make sure that my model is in the middle. And we're going to throw on an edit poly. Then for the first part, we're going to select all these bottom edges. And we need chamfer. Now, depending on which version of 3ds Max you're using, you're going to get the option to either use the standard or quad chamfers. I'm still in Max 2014 for this tutorial, so I'm just going to use the basic chamfer, um, which should be standard chamfer in 2015 and up, as far as I recall. Um, let's bring this up a little bit, add one or two segments. We're already getting a nice little bottom for our light here. Press OK. Now we're going to add another edge. Um, you can either use connect or uh, in the ribbon tools, there is an option called uh, swift loop. Now I've set a hotkey for this, so I'm going to use that. Uh, it'll make my life a little easier and it models quite well. So hotkey into swift loop and we can add a little loop. Go back to poly mode, select all these polygons and we're going to extrude them. Again, um, using the options, because if we just basically extrude them, uh, the group setting won't make it look very good. So we need to use by local normal. Okay, just give it a little lip. Bring this down a little bit. We don't want our lights to be too huge. Then, for the next part, we're gonna basically copy everything we have here. So holding down shift, I'm going to copy this, and then rotate it around. Again, snapping so we can rotate it 180 degrees. And this will be our little light bulb. You can fit it into the bottom model, um, fit it in there quite snugly. And if we select all the top vertices, scale them down a little bit, we'll actually get this nice kind of pinching going on, which looks fairly realistic again, so I'm going to use that to our advantage. Maybe add one more edge here, and with that selected, just scale it out a little bit so we get more of a light feeling. And that should do it. Again, you could maybe scale these down a little bit, and scale them in, and bring them up, and that way we get this nice kind of Christmas light look. And the last part we still need to do is, I'm going to hit Alt X to X-ray, um, or at least that's what I call it, I don't know what the exact name is, but that's how I remember it. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to use this piece that we've just modeled. Again, detach it as a clone to an element. Scale it down. And bring that down into our mesh. Go ahead and look at front view, make sure it fits in snugly again. And this will be our little light element, um, but it'll be so bright that if the geometry isn't amazing on it, we won't actually see a difference. So what I'm going to do for this as well is I'm going to hide the unselected polygons so we can work just on this. And again, because we're scattering this, I'm going to simplify the geometry just a little bit. So selecting pretty much all these polygons. Um, if you hit backspace, uh, then you'll see the ferts disappear um, and it kind of takes the mesh with it. So if we hit control backspace, we still get the same result. So I'm just going to not delete them either, it doesn't work. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to go into edge mode, select these, loop them, and then hit control backspace. What happens if we just hit backspace? If I go to our vertex mode now, our vertic vertices are left there. Um, if I hit control backspace, it'll actually delete the ferts as well, so it works quite nicely. Again, I don't think we're going to need this loop either, so loop it, 
control backspace and we have a little light part. Just make sure the top is still kept. And there we go. And what we're going to do now is go back into polygon mode, unhide all, but I found there's a little bug as well, um, because if we go into vertex mode now, we'll actually not see all our vertices. So click unhide all here as well, and everything will return back to normal. Then with that selected, we can hit Alt X again, and there we are. There's our final product. Convert this to an editable mesh again, because we're going to scatter it. And that's that. Give it a name, call it light. There we go. And in the last part, we're going to bring everything together and um, have a look at how we can shade it and render it real quick.